love tests. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to hear the Word of God, to receive the Holy Eucharist. We do so by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord its God or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, 
by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of the demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him, ask him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and a house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. In both our first reading from the prophet Jeremiah and our psalm today, Psalm 95, we hear the Lord speaking about hearts, hearts that have become hardened. How do, how do we get that hardened heart? Well, we could say it can happen slowly over time from maybe years of having hurt or fear or abandonment or pain. And then we see that we close our heart off to feeling, to others, and ultimately even to the Lord. And yet when we do this, we know that when we, ha we have a hard heart, it closes us closes us off to love and including God's love or hearing with open ears God's voice as our psalm states today. Thank God, though throughout our lives we probably do have that hardness of heart, we know that we can always once again it can be brought back to life, that we can allow God to open those hardened hearts, that we can hear, that we can love once again. May we ask God for this gift of loving hearts, ready to listen and to heed his voice. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Let us approach the sacred heart of Jesus as we bring forth these our prayers. For the Catholic Church, that it may guide her members in the paths of goodness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may turn away from sin this Lent and remain obedient to God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have not been able to attend Mass of Reconciliation because of the pandemic, that they may be healed through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our armed forces, police and firefighters, may they be safe as they place themselves in harm's way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe that they may yet hear the word of God and come to believe, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of hell and vigor for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give thanks that we have this time to bring to you our prayers, our needs, and we ask you to receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those who are at home, let us pray together the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. The Solemnity of St. Joseph is celebrated on March 19th. What makes this year special is that this year Pope Francis has proclaimed a year of St. Joseph on his 150th anniversary as being named patron of the Universal Church. To honor him as a father of the Holy Family and the Universal Church, the priests and deacons will pray a prayer to St. Joseph for nine days as we prepare for the solemnity. Uh, this prayer will be found on our St. Jude website if you would like to pray it along with us. It is also the prayer that is on the back of the St. Joseph prayer card, which is found by our statue of St. Joseph. So let us pray. Dearest St. Joseph, accept the offering I now make of myself to you. I dedicate myself to your service, that you may ever be my father, my protector, in my guide in the way of salvation, obtain from my great purity of heart and a fervent love for the interior life. Grant that after your example, all my action may be directed to the greater glory of God in union with the divine heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary in your own paternal heart. Finally, pray for me that I may share in the peace and joy of your holy death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>